Hello children. Welcome to the online edu class session for class 6 chapter number 2 components of food. You all know food is something which gives us energy to do the regular daily activities. Okay. So food helps us to perform various life activities and in a family everyone has a uh different type of duties different types of activities different types of work different importance and responsibilities and so does your food the food is also having a family means like roti rice dal sabzi raita sweets salad every part of your plate has its own importance its own duties its own work and they perform a different uh, type of role inside your body so let us uh, introduce with the food family one by one in the, in the next slide yes so what we call the food members means the food members are known as components of food these the components of food are nothing but the members of food family so now let us introduce with uh, with the components of food one by one first is carbohydrates second fats third is proteins fourth vitamins fifth minerals next water and last is roughage it is last but not the least it is very important to take roughage in your daily regular diet okay so these are the components of food which form a food family then when we take all these components of food in a balanced amount okay the what is a balanced amount balanced amount means the amount which is required by your body nothing too much nothing too less okay whenever we take all the components in a balanced amount in right proportion it forms your balanced diet then now we can uh, easily uh, sum up the uh, categories of components of food into following headings first is energy giving food these are carbohydrates and fats second body building food proteins because they are required for the building up of cells inside your body protective food vitamins and minerals because they help to fight so many different types of infections and germs which are coming inside our body and they prepare our body for fighting with the, uh, the germs which will uh, which will be uh, there in the surroundings and last is roughage and water roughage and water are although um, they are uh, uh, not containing any nutrient sort of but they are helping for digestion of food for absorption of all the above three points okay if the energy giving food body building food and protective food are uh, absorbed they are due to your roughage and water now coming to the first member these are the carbohydrates carbohydrates are something which contains glucose which contains starch okay so all the grains sugars and fruits they contain sweetness whatever the materials you feel sweet in taste you feel starchy in taste these contain carbohydrates okay so fruits sugar even jaggery gur and all these grains like uh, wheat barley rice corn millet oats these all contain carbohydrates fats are uh, fats are available in uh, various oily substances like fishes fish contain animal fats then nuts then oils after that the uh, oils from seeds also like uh, groundnut oil sesame oil sarsom oil means mustard oil okay and some 
स्प्रेड्स मेड आउट ऑफ दोज वेजिटेबल ऑयल्स लाइक पीनट बटर एक्सेट्रा ओके एंड वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड सोर्सेज इज एवोकेडो विच वी डोंट टेक इन अ रेगुलर डाइट बट इन द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज इट इज वेरी रेगुलरली टेकन बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स अ लॉट एंड लॉर्ड्स एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ गुड फैट्स ओके नाउ coming to the uses of the carbohydrates and fats carbohydrates and fats gives us energy for performing our daily activities whenever we are performing some activities we need energy to do that work from where that energy comes from, uh, comes from it comes from carbohydrates and fats so what will be the deficiency symptom we will feel uh, low we will feel weak we will feel fatigue okay so uh, this is the deficiency symptom for the carbohydrates and fats and even the over intake will cause obesity if we will on take only carbohydrates like uh, we will be taking bread only or roti only or rice only and we are not taking uh, dal we are not taking uh, vegetables we are not taking salad etc so we will be having a deficiency of all those nutrients and we will be having a too much of storage of these carbohydrates and fats so what will happen this will cause obesity so now how can we test whether the uh, substance is containing starch or we are taking too much of carbohydrates or uh, not so that we can test very easily by performing a very simple experiment i am showing you here first you take a potato this is a sample food item take a potato peel it okay after peeling take iodine solution and add one or two drops of iodine solution over it okay so as soon as you will add one or two drops of iodine solution the uh, brown color of iodine solution will turn to blue black color and this blue black color shows the presence of carbohydrates in potato and in this way you can even take rice you can take wheat, uh, wheat chapati other grains also or whatever the food material you are taking you can test for starch in that okay if it is containing a starch it will turn to blue black color for sure now the question is how you will get iodine solution iodine solution you can prepare very easily by adding few drops of tincture iodine to a test tube half filled with water okay this way you can easily get iodine solution and just by putting one or two drops of uh, iodine solution on uh, any starch sample you can just recognize whether it is containing starch or not now i am giving you one more experiment which will, which will show you that if your food item contains glucose or not for that just take a leaf okay every leaf contain glucose how because every leaf performs photosynthesis when every leaf performs photosynthesis it will contain glucose so take a fresh leaf leaf sample then boil it for a few minutes to soften the cells inside the leaf so that it can absorb easily the iodine um, uh, solution which we will add in it okay so if the cells will be soft the iodine will enter very easily then now dip this uh, heated uh, boiled leaf into the iodine solution as soon as you will add this leaf into the iodine solution it will turn into blue black color okay because all the uh, starch and glucose samples turns to blue black color when iodine solution is added as it happened with the potato same is with the leaf also now coming to the fats have you seen these uh, such a sample of samosas your father brought samosa from uh, market uh, in a food packet and nowadays we get uh, biodegradable uh, uh, food packets means uh, paper covers will be there so it stains like oil how it stains like oil mm, can you tell me how 
and what is the relation between uh, asking you about this samosa packet and the test of fats actually this is only the test of fats means if you will take a food sample and you will uh, uh, bring that food sample over a filter paper in a lab we will uh, properly take a filter paper not a regular paper and if we will press it gently over it it will stain your paper okay so in this way you can easily find so regularly what we do in with uh, test of fats is we take a food sample on a butter paper first okay put a filter paper over it and gently press it so that it can mark it can uh, have a stain of uh, fat uh, fat over it so and then um uh, as shown over here just uh, put it uh, against the light source and when you will put it against the light source you will observe such translucent uh, patches over the filter paper and by these patches you can easily identify that the uh, food sample contains fat now proteins till now we have uh, discussed about carbohydrates and fats carbohydrates and fats were providing us energy to do daily activities but what about the proteins proteins are the building blocks and proteins help to build the cells so where we will get the proteins in paneer milk eggs fish chicken meat nuts etc okay so these are the different sources of proteins from where we will get the protein items now coming to the uses of proteins where you will get the uh, use of protein they will be the building blocks i have just repeated it also and they are involved in growth and repair of the body cells then the deficiency will cause uh, what will the deficiency cause it will cause the less number of cells like weakness in the cells and poor nails new formation of cells will be uh, less they will be uh, there will be less formation of new cells like hair growth nail growth okay it even it will cause uh, poor sleep in regular routine okay so by that you can identify that you are taking less of protein and you need to increase the intake of protein how you will test now the proteins just take a food sample in the test tube dilute it, it, it with water and then add dilute copper sulfate solution after adding copper sulfate solution uh, shake it well and uh, warm it a little bit and after that you can uh, add caustic soda solution uh, i have added sodium hydroxide solution caustic soda means any detergent at your home also and as soon as you will add caustic soda solution it will turn to purple in color yes you can easily observe over here here it is getting purple in color you are getting the sample purple in color so this purple color shows that the protein is present in your food sample okay so now the question is how you will form copper sulfate solution and caustic soda solution copper sulfate solution can be easily prepared by taking 2 grams of copper sulfate in 100 ml of water and caustic soda can be prepared by taking 10 grams of caustic soda means detergent in 100 ml of water okay so this is the test for proteins now we will meet in the next video with uh, more topics on vitamins minerals roughage water etc till then eat healthy stay healthy and bye bye